What up y'all, it's your man, Honorable American, back again with another one for the ladies. So, ladies, um, I'm going to try and keep these short and quick and to the point and concise. You know, you ladies like to say you want a man who can communicate well. And then when you get a man who is a clear and concise communicator, meaning linguistically, he can logically explain his point well, and in terms of how his words make you feel, he can communicate well. When you have that man, what I've come to notice, and you know, guys can tell me if I'm wrong. Women, I know you're gonna tell me I'm wrong. It turns out that you ladies are not the clear and good communicators that you think you are. You know, you say you want these things and then you yourself, you're not even good at them. So make sure if you're demanding that a man is a good and a clear communicator, that you yourself are capable of good, clear communication and that you're open to good and clear communication. Because this is more the point than anything else. You know, uh, there are women who are obviously, because we don't want to generalize, that are obviously very good communicators, you know, um, they're good expressing their emotions and telling you what's going on and all this type of stuff. But what what mostly happens is, is that the moment the man becomes a clear communicator and he understands your emotional condition and state and how your words relate to your feelings. And uh, what happens is, is when he can talk to you properly in the way that you want to be spoken to aka the way you would like to be communicated with when you say clear communicators because men are generally clear communicators that's why you know the world exists in the way that it does today because we can communicate information very well and combine it and make great things happen aka societies and technology nonetheless we are talking about relationships right so when we find a man or when you find a man that is a good relationship communicator you spend a lot of time trying to shut him down because you don't like the fact that the guy is able and capable of basically defending himself because a lot of times that's that's what you, you you sisters are doing and it's not i don't want to make accusations i don't want y'all to like you know all americans heaping on the sisters again but this is truly what happens a lot and i notice from one-to-one -one consultations i notice from speaking to brothers uh on the back end privately you know in chats twitter whatnot is that when they finally figure it out they get it and then they start talking to you you want to shut him down So why do you want and say you want clear communicators and good communicating men, men who can communicate well, but then you spend a lot of time shutting these guys down so that um, basically it's a monologue. Just say you want someone to sit here and listen to you. Just validate your emotions and your feelings. You don't really want a communicator. You want someone to validate your emotions and your feelings through your words and if that's what you want then again be sure you are a good communicator and you communicate that but don't conflate the two you listen ladies a lot of times what y'all don't do is you don't take accountability and you're not uh, uh, introspective on what you do so the next time you're having a communication situation with your man aka an argument and that was not the intention Meaning you weren't trying to congruence test them. You weren't just trying to like, you know, do that thing that y'all ladies do sometimes. Ask yourself, how did we get here? And then look at the chain of events. And I guarantee you in that chain of events is you trying to shut down him communicating with you. What you really wanted was him to just sit there and mm -hmm, yes, baby. Oh, that's a terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll do better. All oh, that person at work was bad or whatever else or whatever conversation you're having. 100% you wanted him to do nothing more than validate your emotions through your words. And you didn't really want a communicator. And that's I'd say that's 80% of the problems when it comes down to communication with you Watch ladies. The man, I'm, American about. Ah, I'm only taking the brave. I'm not taking the scary. I'm not taking no girls. Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir. Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir.